Well, I hope this works. I'm just going to say right off the bat, my allergies are just killing me. So I'm going to be maybe blowing my nose every once in a while. Like, hold on, I'll go off to the... But I want to talk this out a little bit because I don't really know how else to uh, go about things. So I'm, this is an amalgamation of lots of things. Um, just trying out my CRT and playing around with a bunch of different rules and, and so on and so forth. It's hev heavily influenced, obviously, by Der Weltkrieg and whatever. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to talk it out. I'm not going to uh, go from there. I'll just show you. So we're doing turn four. It's the Italians versus the Greeks, trying to uh, see who can take over Albania here. I'm using these C things just to show uh, you where uh, the headquarters are, where they're supplying things. Uh, that's cavalry. And the numbers, I hope you can see them, are uh, strength points. These things are uh, markers for me to um, identify which units have decided to dig in. And what does digging in mean in my little world? It means essentially uh, those uh, the attacker will get minus one on their die roll. Uh, but if I was, and I can still mount an attack, but if I was going to mount, uh, mount an attack and let's say um, a retreat occurred or the uh, enemy decided to retreat, I can't uh, exploit that. Uh, but I can still make attacks, it's just I can't exploit that. So that's uh, a thing. Because there's limited amount of terrain here on this map, I, I decided to go with elevations to um, primarily drive how movement and line of uh, communication and um, uh, train effects uh, occur. So if the attacker and the uh, defender are on the same elevation or the same terrain, there's no uh, die roll adjustment whatsoever. I'm keep trying to keep things as simple as possible. There's no stacking as well. If uh, somebody gets, uh, oh, sorry, I should say, you uh, cavalry can, s no, I, I'm, yeah, I'm still, that's still fluid. But so far I'm doing it, uh, no stacking, and if you are forced to, um, you still can't retreat kind of thing, uh, you're eliminated kind of thing or surrender. That's the way I'm doing it at this moment in time um, Still trying to keep things simple like I said clear terrain infantry can move three uh, The hilly area they can move two. They can only move one the headquarters can only ever move one regardless That's just the way it is they can supply infantry. They don't have to worry about cavalry cavalry or uh, don't have, don't need to be supplied because you're gonna see what I'm gonna do with cavalry uh, they can supply infantry out uh, to six in clear, four in hilly, and uh, two in, in the mountains. So we've already had some restrictions here, like I said, uh, like for example in turn three, the Greeks did mount an attack on, the, on BG5 over here, but it was unsupplied, it was too far away, I haven't moved my headquarters out far enough. Uh, at first I'll say the Greeks were doing pretty good, they, they, uh, but now they're taking it on the chin a little bit. Um, I'll say this right off the bat with the, the altitude or the terrain elevation thing. Once um, essentially I've given up or you've given up uh, uh, elevation, you're, you, well, it's an uphill battle. <laughs> uh, the Greeks did retreat here and I was okay with it because uh, when the Italians attacked they were both in uh, dug in position so I knew it they couldn't exploit uh, um, my retreat uh, also uh, when sorry oh it's just been a flipping nightmare of a, uh, an evening also when an attack occurs um, those hits are going to happen before, like, the effects of those hits are going to happen uh, before the uh, uh, defender does, uh, does their counterattack. So they take it on the chin a little bit, so they have to decide whether or not they want to retreat and so on and so forth. Um, still doing the tripling, doubling thing. It's, like I said, fluid. I don't have to worry about woods yet. Uh, it's not going to affect uh, movement. It's all light, That's only light woods. 
it's uh, going to uh, affect the die roll adjustment. So let's go with it. It's now turn four. I'm not dealing with reinforcements yet, and so on and so forth. Yes, I'm allowed uh, letting them across the border. It's turn four. The Italians start. Let's see what they can do here. Like I said, I'm just having some fun here. Oh, by the way, uh, cavalry in my universe uh, can ignore um, enemy zones of control completely. Except, oh, sorry, if it's um, um, another cavalry thing. They always retreat from attacks from, uh, like, they're just they're just used there for roadblocks, for Christ's sakes, kind of thing. You want to go up against other cavalry, fine. But I'm not letting you attack uh, infantry in this universe. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's impossible. You can't do that. So anyways, here we go. So there's my cavalry. I'm going to move them across the border and we're just going to, um, oh yeah, they've got a movement of four. They can move two in the mountains, um, uh, three in the hills and four in clear. I'm just trying, like I said, trying to keep things simple. So here we go. And remember, they can ignore enemy zones of control, but they exert them, which is awesome. All right, so here we go. I haven't looked at it from this angle. It's just, uh, it's the bloody camera here. They can't stack either. Shoot. But I can, oh yeah, and, uh, uh, infantry, as soon as you encounter an enemy zone of control, um, you have to stop, but you can always get this, you know, the one movement uh, minimum kind of thing of a jig. You know what? I'm doing that conveyor belt thing. So we're going to uh, rotate out here, which is what I would love to do. So I'm going to move out five. I'll pop you here. I'm going to bring in some nice, sweet, fresh troops. All right. And obviously I'd lose my dug-in position. I'm not going to do that. Why the hell would I? Um, no, I'm starting to run out of run out of troops. That's just the way it goes. But I don't want to give up my uh, elevation. Now, for example, if I did, well, I'm going to obviously mount an attack on seven, so I can just get an auto retreat off of this guy and hop on in. You think I'm nuts? But you know, um, yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think, or could I? Twelve to ten, eh? He's gonna wallop. Uh, no, he can't. He's uh, he's too far out of supply. Excellent. That could be a possibility. I'll give that a shot because I want you guys to see some uh, good stuff here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, attack with this guy with this guy, so I know it's an auto retreat. And he can retreat up to two uh, hexes if he wishes. Um, I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep them here. Uh, since I'm not, oh shoot, I'm dripping on the map because of oh, shit, because of my allergies. Damn it. Um, because I'm not dug in, I can exploit that uh, retreat. I'll move these guys on in here, but that's all I can do. Uh, here's my headquarters. I can. He's in. Well, it wouldn't matter anyways. Yeah, he's in mountains, and so is that guy. So there's no defense bonus except for that he's dug in. So I'll get minus one to my die roll. But I've got a 12 that's going to cost me three supply points. Hold on, i got to write this down for Italy. And that's uh, BG20. Okay. Anyway, so far so good. I know there's going to be lots of issues, uh, which is fine. I wasn't expecting it to work right off the bat. I mean, good God. But um, I'm having fun, and I'm, there's lots of decision points, and I think that's, you know, the good thing about it. Hold on here. So that was three points. Yeah, I more or less made the troops equal, obviously. Oh, God. Damn. What is going on with this flipping allergies? Jesus, Murphy. It's just driving me up the tree. Okay, so when I'm doing a D12, you won't see it, but I'll roll. And it's a minus one to my die roll on a 12 on my table. Wow, that was a big number. Italy has not rolled a big number. Um, they've done pretty good, but I'm shocked. It, it's an 11. So I'm down to a 10 on mine. I'll see if you can see it here. 
So I'm going to go down to 10 uh, and on, on a 12. So I know it's going to be three hits. See, because I don't get a four until um, I would reach a 14. So I got three hits and that, like I said, happens immediately. And um, the... Do I want to give up that terrain? No, I don't, because he's not dug in. So I'll stay there and I'm dug in. Didn't work very well, but uh, so I'll take the hits right away. Okay, and I stay there. Like I said, it was three hits. Oh shoot! Hold on, I gotta go downstairs and go get the uh, the tray for the Alberto markers. I can't hit pause on this thing. Hold on. I didn't think of that. makes sense. Like I said, if um, I'd love people to tear it to shreds, that's great because that means I can learn. Okay, so I go about a seven here. So I'm down to seven. Like I said, I decided to uh, stick it out. And I can't supply. I'm too far away. Like I said, I'm three away. So that means I've uh, my, um, my strength points are chopped in half. Three and a half always, um, so I'm rounded down to a three, and I just roll. It's uh, straight up. Uh, nothing else I can say. Oh wow, an eight, eight, eight on a three. Probably like one hit or something. Uh, I try to make it, make it once you start getting into the foreland, that's when you can start doing some stuff with the attacking, essentially. So, uh, an 8 on a 3, eh? Yep, just one hit. Alright, so that's not, you know, it's the way it goes. But I, I'm still there. And they didn't push me out, like, didn't push me out of there. So that's, that's fine. That's okay. As the Greeks, you know what I mean? Oh, there we go. And then we'll do, I think, um, what other combat would I like to do here? I can't. And there's the other thing for my universe. I'm also, okay, so the this guy, this guy, and this guy are assigned to number nine. Three, two, five, and one are assigned to number eight. I do not allow number nine to try and help out, like supply number, th no, not part of your uh, army. I'm not going to show, but I wouldn't do that, for example. So for number 20, it would be like five, uh, this, you know, I'm just looking, like take a look at where, you know, here we go, boink, 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 boink for this guy. I know I didn't, whatever, but you get the idea. All right, so we've done that bit. Who else do I want to try and nabble? Hmm. I've got to look at yet again for terrain. Um, for example, here I'm going to get, and it's for now because I'm not going to get into specific land or try to whatever. It's kind of like if you don't have everybody on your on the river, or like uh, on one side of the uh, on one side of the river, and you're attacking, you're going to get that uh, horrible penalty. I'm doing it that way as well. So this guy is at a different elevation than this guy. I wonder if I should just be specific. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yep. Alright, so I can get a 12. This guy's going to be chopped in. Uh, he's... Hmm. No, I'll just say it's a minus one overall. Yeah, let's stop trying to be too too crazy here. So because they're not all on the same elevation, he is, is towards here. I'm going to attack. Um, Yeah, because this guy is, who is he for? Yeah, he's this guy, so I can't use him anyways. Um, hmm, should I have tried? Oh, well, it's, I didn't clue in. 
So we're going to go for, oh my God. Should I go for, well, this guy would be the smart thing to go for, Chris. He's only got four strength points left. Don't start going funky. Okay, so we're gonna go for this, so that's one, two, yeah, I'm okay. He's gonna, I'm going to get a die roll um, penalty because I'm not all on the same elevation as him. That's the way I'm doing it, kind of like the river thing. But he's down to four, that's gonna be really nice. I'm going to move this guy over. I'll lose my digging in. However, if I don't make a, an attack, I still got to dig in. That's the way I'm doing it. So I moved and I'm digging in. Maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's a bit too um, powerful. I don't know. All right. So we got 26 going up here with the die roll of minus one. Hold on. I got to um, subtract the uh, supply points. There's my... Um, Oh, it's over there. Oh my god. And you're number 12. So that's going to cost me... That's... What? Eight? Or seven, sorry. Uh, so I'm down to 21. All right. And I've got 20... Um, oh, I'm going to put this back. So that's 27, um, sorry, um, how many points? 26, okay. Now let's roll with a minus one because I'm not all on the same elevation that I'm attacking. All right, oh wow, nice, 10. Let's see what I do when I start getting into really high strength points, a lot of bad stuff. I think these guys are gone, to be honest with you. Um, 26 with a 9 because of the thing. So I do 6 uh, hits. Um, and like I said, uh, this guy's only got 4. He's going to be forced to retreat. Um, he's still, he's going to be obliterated. Uh, he has no choice due to the fact that um, uh, he's only got four. Now, that's the other thing though. Now he's gone. So th does that mean the attackers um, suffer no losses? Hmm. Yeah, I've also been trying to figure out also, uh, like I said, this is a, a work in progress. So I have to go with it. But I like the idea that he's uh, he's gone. I've taken, well, because I want to do the one-third, you can take one-third losses. He's still only got four. He's gone. Um, I'm certainly going to be uh, advancing. I wonder if I should say if you want to advance, you have to take a hit regardless. That's an interesting thing. And the only person that could uh, take a hit uh, or an advance would be number 18 because these guys are both dug in. All right, I kind of like that. I'm going with it. And narratively speaking, they're on the lower altitude anyway, so uh, elevation, so that would make uh, maybe perhaps a little bit of sense. Like I said, this is, I'm just playing her out. So far, so good though. I'm enjoying uh, what's, been, what's been cooking. So the Italians have made some pretty good gains here. Hmm. I think I'll just stick a uh, stay with that. We'll see how the Greeks react. Um, jeez. Isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Well, all right. Hope you're having fun. See ya.